welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We are aboard the Collector base now. The Collector ship has been destroyed. Now, we've, in the previous episode, decided who was going to take care of the second fire team and who was going to follow and go through the vents to unlock the doors. And Tally's going to do that, and Garrus is going to run up the second fire team. Now, it doesn't really matter who else you choose for this part of the mission, because it doesn't really uh, matter who you choose, because they're all going to survive regardless. As long as you chose the proper people for the other two part portions of the mission. Okay, what's going to happen here? Inside the ventilation shaft, Shepard. It's hot in here, but it's clear as far as I can tell. Okay, we're going to... Are you in position? In Damn position. It. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Okay. Tally is going through this tube that we're going to be able to see in about a minute after I kill a couple of these collectors. And she's going to occasionally get stuck. She's going to find the obstructions in the way. So occasionally I have to go and help her open doors and let her through. While at the same time we have to go and gun down a bunch of collectors. And we're gonna find that harbinger, that super collector. Ah, so here we go. You open this, and the door opens and Tally can go through. Of course there's always gonna be more collectors. And we have Harmon to deal with. Okay, it's a little bit hard to tell what Harbinger is. Because Harbinger, I mean, like, appears to be this. A more powerful collector. And we've also seen another collector called the Collector General. Which seems to be the one that's taking control of these collectors. But in reality, Harbinger is a Reaper. And Harbinger is taking direct control over these other collectors here, as well as the Collector General. So this isn't this is a this is a Reaper taking control of a collector. Stop bitching.
This is the last one. There we go. I love this Omni tools, huh? Oh. Get to the door. Now, in the event that the person in the tube doesn't have loyalty, that person will die at this point. Here they come! Fall back! It's a prison fire! Don't let anyone through that door! Ah. Nice work, Tally. All worked. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. looking at it's like on the collector ship all the pods like of people of the missing colonists there's more over here god she's still alive Get them out of there. Hurry. I don't imagine that was pleasant. People have got me slimy. Oh, it's Kelly. Why not shoot those things open? Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? Oh, it's the doctor. Shepard, you... you came for us. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. Conventional weapons are pretty much useless. They'll tear us apart. That a challenge? Because I might be able to keep them off us with a biotic field. Not everyone. A small team, and they'd have to stay close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you Despite want to Despite Miranda's the claims, she can't do it. In fact, the only person in the team that can do it would be Jack. Now, there is a, another team member you can get that can do it, but I never swarms. got her. The rest of you provided the but Jack can do it, the main and... Path. We'll open Jack can only do it from the other side and if she's loyal. There. Who should lead the diversion team? Now for the other team, you're going to want to choose somebody based on the similar idea that you chose the 
second fire team and uh I'll before the defenders busy while you slip in the back so Jake what about can do me it. and the rest of the crew Shepard we're in no shape to fight commander we have enough systems back online to do a pickup but we need to land back from your position we can't afford to go back Shepard not now you'll never make it without help I'll send someone with you you want to choose someone who is both loyalty and a low defense value. Joker, send me the That's location tally. of the landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. You don't really have to stay close, but you do if you want to survive. Check this out. Bugs attack. Now, you, this orb surrounding Jack is where you have to stay. Damn. The swarms are interfering with radio contact. Now, having a biotic... For this? Let's go, Commander! Like um, Shepard, a Vanguard Shepard may not be the best choice for this. Incoming! It's kind of a Sweet bit of a weakness. This delay is pointless. Because most of the enemies have barriers, so biotic powers become useless. Having a soldier class, which can bring a lot of firepower to bear, is what you face. My shields are down. Or a tech specialist that can build those little robots to go and help you fight are really the best options. I must tell you apart, Shepard, I will. Unfortunately, even though I don't have the best character for this, I'm gonna have to fight through it anyway. This changes nothing, Shepard. You're assuming control. Oh boy, another one. Direct intervention is necessary. If you hit me, I don't feel this. I must tear you apart, Shepard. I will. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Ready to move, Commander. Get back in the barrier! See, she's not holding his arms up as high as she was before. She's getting tired. Now, here's one part where Hostiles, having a vanguard does help, at least on the lower difficulty levels, because these husks, Headed for combat. tossing them aside is really easy with a vanguard. Fortunately, we have collectors to deal with as well. Get back in the 
Fight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. Oh, now she looks like she's really getting tired. Come on, Jack. Picking up that ammo. Get back in the barrier. Shut up. Let's do your job. Enemies in front. Oh yeah, she's doing fine. See the entrance. Need to get there soon. Oh, running. Gotta love the shotgun action. You can't get through here. You gotta go through the other side. Hold up. We're almost there. Let's go. See what's cool. Quickly. All right. Let's move. Now another character, or a Jack that's not loyal, would collapse at this point, and one of your characters would die. But Jack's strong enough that she can do something about this. your position. We're pinned down at the door. Taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. I'm okay. Just need a second to catch my breath. keep this episode from getting too long. I'm going to end it here, so tune in for the next one, and we will finish off the main story of the game.